Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick review on these new Project MC Squared dolls. I picked up Cameron. She's got red hair and tannish skin, light brown eyes and pink lips. And it's based on a Netflix show, so they don't really have artwork. They have actresses that play their characters. And this is the girl who plays Cameron. I haven't watched it yet, so I don't have an opinion about that. But I think it's cool that they have, you know, these girls who don't look like generic Barbie doll types. This is the back of her box and uh, a little introduction to her. As you can see she's not into frilly clothes. She likes uh, garage sales, toolboxes. She seems to be a very um, hands-on type. And one of the cool things about these dolls is that they are not enforcing any stereotypes. They are basically telling girls you can do whatever you want, you can be however you want to be, telling them that they are smart, that they don't have to be boys in order to be scientists, basically, you know, girl power. Here is the doll itself. You can see she has inset eyes. They're very high quality. She also has the uh, applied eyelashes, as you can see, and their face molds are extremely cute. That was one of the things that called out to me. Her outfit is pretty simple. She's got these really actually pretty cool shoes on that I really like and then she's got these purple pants and this shirt which actually I think would be cool if it had some artwork on the front but it's okay if it doesn't and then of course she comes with this little beanie hat which matches this one and um, my first complaint about these dolls is this weird little creepy thing over here the hat is actually sewn to her face, so you can remove it, but she's going to have a hole there. Um, I was thinking that I would remove it, but then I would just put it back on because, I don't know, I just think it's weird that it's sewn to her face. Um, I was thinking actually of dyeing this black, maybe. I think it would look better. Here's what she looks like without her hat on. I think she actually looks better. She looks really cute. And um, here's her hat. She is very well rooted. I have no complaints about her hair whatsoever, except, you know, it needs to be brushed out a little bit. I'll probably straighten it. If you look up close, her hair is actually not 100% red. It's actually brown with like hot pink in it, but it's mixed so well that it looks red. And I think the end result is such a gorgeous color. One of the reasons that I really liked this one specifically is because she reminds me of Ariana Grande and uh, especially her character in Victorious. So that's probably how I'm going to try to style her. This is the brush that she comes with. Hers is orange. I don't know if all the girls got an orange one, but it's in the shape of a little flask and it only has a few of these. So I don't know that you could actually do anything with this, but it's a cute idea. And um, she doesn't come with a stand. This is the $15 budget doll, which I actually think should maybe go more towards the $10, $9.99 range because um, she doesn't have any articulation so she's like the really cheap basic Barbies but she does do this and she's not that like fake silicone material she's all completely plastic she does do that she goes up to here her face rotates and uh, goes up and down she doesn't have any joints on her ankles but she can sit like that and uh, her legs go out to the side a little bit, so that's interesting. That's really cool. And um, that's about it. I am definitely going to be restyling her. I don't really know how yet, but I do want to play around with her a little bit. And um, that's basically all I have to say about her. I am interested in getting the deluxe one because I have heard that those are supposed to be articulated, but I'm not sure. I don't really understand why they would have two different types of bodies. I mean, I can see that they would want to save on Mummy because it's a new line, but uh, it's kind of confusing, like, just stick to one. And, um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about her. Let me know if you guys have checked out this line yet, and if you have checked out the show, what do you think about it? Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.